can hear me, I've been trying this before with this GoPro setup. Uh, chin mount. We've got three days of therapy on the bikes. Heading from Ballina on the coast in down to Glen Innes first night. And then up to Tenerfield for the second night. And then back to Ballina on the third day. So just a solo ride. I'm on the big girl, Africa Twin. So just taking nice easy tracks. Uh, don't enjoy picking her up when she's on the ground, she weighs a bit. So at the moment we're on Mount Marsh Road. Jump through to Gabbury, uh, Whippery, and yeah, on Mount Marsh, heading down to Barrett's Creek and then into Grafton for the first stop. Then from Grafton we're going to head down the Old Glen Innes Road. We won't quite make the tunnel. We're going to turn left at, at Del Morton. Before the tunnel, at Del Morton and then head south from there for a little while and then um, walk into Glen Innes. Had a bit of rain last week, or yesterday even, and it's come up okay. No dust, friggin' awesome. So just hang back, chill, enjoy the ride. Marsh Road, there's a locked gate, um, which I didn't know about. I've been through here before, I'm, I'm sure, but anyway, locked gate, so we've had to turn around. Um, we're going to stop and have a little snack, though, morning tea. Uh, a bit of a bummer. So we'll have a little break here, this looks alright. Um, this looks alright here, so we're going to have snack and then a bit of a detour. So we'll just head back then and um, head into Grafton, fuel up. And then it's off to Del Morton uh, down um, Old Gleninus Road, which I know is open, <laughs> and uh, continue on from there. But I'm going to have a little snack here. Should have brought the swimmers. Wow. I think I'm going to sit here for a while. Well, well, we're on the South Grafton Road, Old Grafton Road, uh, Del Morton, the little township's just up there. Uh, but I thought I'd stop for a bite to eat on a quiet bit of river because there'd more than likely be some campers or other people stop there. It's a popular spot. So we've run into a couple of closed gates is what happens, but um, we finally made it here. But check this out on the uh, Nimboida River. Not a bad spot for some lunch. So hopefully we'll make it through Del Morton. We'll head south from there uh, and then loop around into Glen Innes this afternoon. So all going well, let's hope. Cheers. <laughs>
Day, morning. Well, we're on, uh, we've left uh, Glen Innes heading to Tenerfield. So, uh, instead of fanging up the highway, take the back roads as you can. So from Glen Innes, head into uh, Emmerville, and then into Torrington, and then you follow Silent, Glo uh, Silent Grove Road. Takes you through some spectacular um, granite country. Probably can't see the country road all the way back there. GoPros don't show the best in distance. We're nearly at Tenerfield, so we um, followed Silent Grove Road, went to left Glen Innes, went to Emmerville, Torrington, and then onto Silent Grove Road, then onto Mole River, which is pretty spectacular. <clears throat> and then last stop before we get into Tenerfield's Gunya. So this is Gunya Road, this is Gunya Road Lookout. Parked up, locked up. We're at Bald Rock National Park, just outside of Tenerfield. Uh, we are here. 2.7 k's. All right. So we've got to pay. So like most things, national parks, guys, we've got to pay eight dollars. $8, it's not much. Um, nothing there, hang on. There's no envelopes, there's nothing there, but I'll still throw some money in, eh? Two, four, six, eight, so let's say ten bucks. Get rid of some coin, eh? There's no envelope there, it's easy just to walk away, not do anything. Um, but you know, Get in there. Nah. Two dollars. Money in. Nothing. So yeah, National Park for these guys, hey, it's it's a cheap day out. You take the family out for dinner, go see a movie, hundred bucks, go see the footy, hundred bucks. Um everything costs money, the only thing's free is like go to the beach or something, and that's paid by your rates. So for national parks, the maintenance of the tracks, the signs, everything, it's all done by, or well, helped out by the government, by paying your fees too, so cheap day out, eight bucks for a car. Anyway, rant over. Ball Rock, Base Walk, Summit Walk. All right, still climb a rock, people. About halfway now, nothing. But, I'm hanging to get the top and just chill. Bring it on. Right. Keep going, knees. So we're nearly there, nearly at the top. Uh, it takes about an hour, I guess, an hour and a half. <clears throat> Steep at the beginning, but once you're up the top, you're just zigzagging along the top of it. And you come across this little beauty. Check that out. That's the top over there. 
pretty. Pretty wild. So, last little stop before the edge, I think. Before the top, I should say. <laughs> Next to the edge. A little sign there saying I'm close. To the top. Let's do it. These bad boys. We're balancing rocks. How many people have tried to push that one down the reel? Me included. It's not going anywhere, people. Hey. Just get down there, will you? I want to be here on the day it happens. Imagine smashing it all the way down there. Anyway, we're distracted people. We're going to the top. So that's it there. Top of the rock we came over that way. And I've got a feeling that's Mount Warning straight there, but I'll, I'll have a look when I sit my ass down in a minute. But that looks pretty cool. And if you want to get technical, there's a black sign up ahead. I don't know if you can see it or not on the GoPro. Little pinnacle, there's the top. We made it. Well, we made it. We're on the top. And I fed you some bullshit, that's not Mount Warning. Yeah, it is, because I'm on top now. Mount Lindsay, way off in the distance there. Alright people, get ready. 360 view coming up. And right there, you will not be able to see the GoPro, but straight ahead there is Mount Kenzie. That's uh, Dennerfield, where we came from, about 30 k's. Then we're heading back around to the summit. Alright, gonna find myself a nice spot, have a feed, and that's all downhill from here. Had a feed, a top of rock. Now it's time to get the hell down. Make my way down. Head back to Turnerfield, meet the boys. Which is where that smoke is coming from, way off in the distance. Up a beer, yay! All right, see you, folks. There you go. This place reminds me of Uluru. I was uh, lucky enough to climb Uluru. Shit. 35 years ago um, in that it's not like a cliff where you got sheer drop-offs that you can walk up to the side of a cliff and have a look down these monoliths granite fucking monolith that we're standing on now they just have those big rolled edges so you can't really see over the top of them you keep sneaking over closer and closer to the edge and all of a sudden if you're fucking rolling over too far pretty spectacular Catch you next time. That's just a nice little run, guys, from 
Gleninus to or to Gleninus and then to Tenerfield around the north coast. Through some back roads, nice easy riding on your own. On a bigger bike. Um, all about scenery. And the beers. Should better go get some.